Hey y'all, so earlier this month was April 1st, better known as April Fool's Day. Uh, and a couple of months ago, I had my patrons vote on what my April Fool's video would be, in addition to episode 2 of my FE12 playthrough. But, uh, yeah, that ended up not happening. You might have noticed that the only video that went up was the FE12 playthrough. I got COVID, uh, so I couldn't record anything at that time. I'm kind of lucky that I got Friday videos out during that whole time period, um, which is why my voice then and now still sounds off. I'm still recovering, you know, long symptoms, whatever. But I figured I might as well make that video. Like, they did pay to be able to vote for things, so let's check out what the topic is, uh, and it is Pegging Sus Nights. Pegging and COVID in the first minute of the video. Yeah, this is getting demonetized. Like all great video essays, I need to start with Dictionary.com. According to Dictionary.com, pegging is noun, another name for aid climbing. That's the only definition, so I have to assume that that's what people were referring to. But I'm not sure what this has to do with Fire Emblem, much less with Sus Knights. Climbing isn't really a mechanic in Fire Emblem. Well, I guess technically Radiant Dawn has climbing, because there's the ledges and you can climb up and down. So maybe we should narrow in on Radiant Dawn. Radiant Dawn has four playable armor knights. Meg, Gatri, Tyronio, and Braum. But because of Radiant Dawn's weird structure, Braum, Tyronio, and Gatri are actually generals, not armor knights. They start out as tier 2 units. As a result, this must be referring to Meg, appropriately enough, because this is the year of Braum 2024. And for the uninitiated, Meg is Braum's daughter. She was actually sent to find his friend Zehark because Braum thought that Meg and Zehark would make a good couple. Before even meeting Zehark, Meg has decided that they are soulmates, referring to him as Pookums and telling him that they're going to get married in one of the base conversations. Still, I'm not sure how this behavior is sus. From my understanding with my time playing Among Us, sus refers to someone who vented in front of you. And I don't think there's a venting mechanic in Radiant Dawn. Well, okay, venting can sometimes refer to other things. Sometimes you vent your anger. And anger is wrath. So maybe this means that we can unlock a secret if we take the wrath skill from Edward and give it to Meg. Okay, so now we're on the right track. But sus also refers to the imposter. So what about Meg makes her an imposter? Oh, well, if I check game FAQs from 2009, she's clearly a Pegasus Knight in disguise as an Armor Knight. And in Among Us, imposters disguise themselves as crewmates. So we need to make the imposter vent in order to unlock pegging sus knights. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just realized, sus is slang. So is there a slang definition for pegging that might fill in this missing link? Okay, if I just go to urbandictionary.com and look for pegging and wow, there's a lot of results. Yes, it would appear that pegging uh, does have a slang term. Okay, I think this is the final clue that we needed to put it all together. If you take Wrath off of Edward and give Meg Wrath, then the base conversation where she tells Zehark that they are going to get married is replaced with a scene where Meg Radiant Dawn pegs Zehark fully uncensored HD movie Shady Link. My work here is done. <laughs>